If you are new and you don't know who I am, I'm Megan. I'm one third of the board game stream Board Game House, where we play board games on the internet for you. And sometimes we play D&D, which is what's about to happen. Yeah. So today I, I only have a few things I want to talk about. I'm freaking out a little bit because we're real close. Uh, uh, we start Friday, like three days from now, Friday, which will be tomorrow when this gets released. Uh, but I've got myself organized, mostly. I still have like two things I want to get written down in my handy dandy notebook, which is going to be my DM handbook where I have all kinds of stuff where I'm not going to show you, but I'm only going to kind of show you what I've got in there. Yeah. So I'm really excited about it. I, I worked on that all day today and for most of the evening yesterday because I realized that I didn't exactly do what I needed to do as a DM when they were in character creation mode. <sighs> Leave it to me to not fully read what needed to be read. So I was going back and reading it again because I wanted to read through the entire thing and then go back and read it again so I could really like, zzz, like hone in on things. And... I realized that I didn't do one of the things that it said, which was, your players should be from this town. But I have really cool players, and we worked things out, and it's all good, because I really like all of their backstories, so I didn't want to make them be like, oh, well, now you're from this place, sorry, because... It's not fun. <laughs> I want them to enjoy their characters and have a good time coming up with their characters. So here we are. But we got it together. It's all good. I'm, I have seen two pieces of character art at this point. And they're super cute. And I'm super excited. And I can't wait to show you all. I really can't wait to show you all what we've been working on when it comes to the stream itself for like the OBS stuff with the with the overlays and things because we've been working really hard on that and Deck of Mini was kind enough to let us use their uh, uh, the original art for Humblewood so there's all kinds of pretty stuff and some really cute things that we have access to and I'm really excited about it and hopefully it just lets us, you know, give you all the best stream possible. But I do have actual things that I want to talk about today instead of me just rambling about how excited I am about the things that are coming up. Anybody who knows me knows that I am the I am the rules lawyer of BGH. Some people would not like to play games with me because I'm very big on the rules are written this way that we should play it like that because that's the way the game's supposed to be played. I'm not a rule breaker. I've always been a rule follower. I can't help it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a rebel. I want to be a rebel, but I'm not a rebel. My, my parents can, can tell you that I'm, I'm a rule follower. I'm absolutely one of those people that will walk, you know, 20 more feet to get to the crosswalk before crossing the street. Mostly because, you know, I'm also scared of other people, but also rule. I should cross there. You know, so D&D has rules. But also sometimes things happen that not necessarily, they, they, they kind of break the rules. And... You have to decide, are you going to allow it because it's fun, aka the rule of cool, or are you going to say, no, you can't do it because it's not written that way? Every fiber of my being wants to do the latter. But, also, I want to do the former. So, I don't... Mm, 
it's 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 a thing but i but i want to make sure that my players are having a good time and i feel like if somebody is really like on it enough to be able to throw me where i where i have to consider the rule of cool i feel like i'm probably going to go for it be like yeah yeah do it yeah i like it sure but I always, I always like the rule of cool. I, I think that something that I really like about 5e is the ability to be creative and to be able to, like, do what you want with it. Not necessarily following the rules, but also still following the rules. Is that contradictory? Probably. But it's fine. But at the same time, when your rule book says that you don't have to follow the rules, I feel like that's then a rule stating that you can break the rules. I.e. page, what is it? 263 of the Dungeon Master Guide says, As the Dungeon Master, you aren't limited by the rules in the Player's Handbook, the guidelines in this book, or the selection of monsters in the Monster Manual. You can let your imagination run wild. So in the rule book, it says, I can break the rules. So technically, I'm still following the rules by breaking the rules. Duh. Mind blow. Have I blown your mind yet? I should have. So... I'm interested to see what they're able to throw at me because I know very well that I have two players who like to bend the rules just a little bit or like tweak the wording, like read into the wording that this could be the way that this is read. They know who they are. But sometimes those things make for really interesting moments. And you know what D&D is about? Really interesting moments. So, that should be okay. Again, there is a rule about breaking the rules. <sighs> Number two, the thing that I really wanted to talk about, because this is something that I started panicking about last night, which is why it took me like four hours to even start writing. That's a little bit of an ex exaggeration. Just a little bit. Um, we ended the stream at like 9.30 and I don't think I actually wrote anything down until 11.30, maybe midnight. I didn't get to bed until late last night. But this is what caught me off guard. I know that there are built-in beats. Like, you can very clearly see some of them. And, like, I, I definitely, like, in further chapters, I know exactly where I want things to end, right? This one I had a little bit more trouble figuring out where I actually wanted this section to end, where I wanted this first stream to end. And I'll be honest, I'm a little scared. Because I don't feel like I've planned that much. I feel like there's a possibility that I may have to wing part of it. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> give me, please, give me a few streams before I start having to wing stuff. Please. Ha, huh, wing. Wing. Ha. Huh. But, please, <laughs> please. But I'm really, I'm, I'm really scared that these, this particular, this particular beat that I've decided on, isn't going to be enough for to fill a two to three hour stream, preferably three hours. But here's the thing, because we're doing this in stream form, I also have to take into consideration announcements, introduction to the world their introductions, their, the player introductions. So really, 
in in all actuality, we're looking at about two hours of playtime, maybe two and a half, maybe. So maybe I've picked the perfect amount. Maybe it'll run a little long. I'm hoping it doesn't run long. Um, it's possible that it might because I have a couple of things. See, it's really hard for me to talk about this because I don't want to give away spoilers for for the the the, the thing, the the uh, words, the campaign. I also really need to like talk to someone about it and I don't have anybody to talk to about it because the people I would usually talk to about it are playing. Literally. Everybody that I would generally talk about this to is playing in my game. So I don't... My usual, my usual confidants are no longer, I'm no longer able to bounce ideas off of. And holy moly, that's stressful. You know, I, I'm, I'm really worried about pacing. I'm so scared about pacing. I have so many things, like, in my head that could possibly happen. I know, I know that, that battles tend to take a little while. Um, I, I know that encounters take a, a minute. Um, but I'm really scared that we're going to just like fly through this because, um, I gave them way too much power when it came to rolling their characters. <laughs> I was trying to be nice because, okay, I roll really poorly. Let's just, let's just toss this out there. Our big joke in our group is that I am the Will Wheaton of our crew. Sorry, Will Wheaton, if you are for some reason watching this, but you know your curse. And somehow, I have also gotten this curse. So, I was like, you know what, I'm going to be nice because there's nothing worse than playing in a campaign where you just have really bad stats. Like, I'm sorry, you can say, oh, well, that's luck of the draw. But you know what? It really sucks. <laughs> like, when you want to do something and you're like, yeah, I'm going to do this because my character would legitimately do it. And then you roll and you have to subtract one from your score, which never you know, it's never going to end well. It's just, it's just, it's never going to end well. And it's just, it's sad and it's depressing and it's, it's not fun. So I would rather be more challenged as a DM to let my, my, my players have a good time, but at the same time, I like the whole roll three sets of stats and choose which one you want, but I also like to let you re-roll once. Now, let me tell you this. Nine times out of ten when I re-roll a one, I get a two. <laughs> like, there's, there's, it's really not that much of a, an improvement. They, however, did pretty well. So, um, their stats are pretty good, which I know that not that doesn't necessarily cause for things to be super unbalanced, but like it can be super unbalanced and I'm real nervous that it's gonna cause some, some problems for me. But it's fine. I don't know. It's, 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 it's gonna be fine. She says, hopefully. You all, I'm, we're in the final stretch, and I'm so nervous, and I'm so scared, and some days I'm like, this was a terrible idea. This is something I absolutely should not have done. I should have said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to DM for the first time, not on the internet. But it's fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's 
gonna be, it's gonna be great. I am seriously nervous. I'm at that point where I've got started getting the butterflies because it's scary. Um, because there's a lot of things, there's a lot, I feel like, riding on it. But, you know, I have my handy dandy little DM notebook. And I have all of my stuff. And we're going to hope that that is enough to get me where I need to go. In all actuality, I'm probably going to go downstairs and add just a little bit more. Just as like a, I'm going to have my beat that I want. No, a beat that I can start, like I can stop before that if it isn't, or if it's too much. And I want to have a beat after that just in case. So I have like padding. So I'm not flying by the seat of my pants. Um, I feel like that is the best choice for me. So I've got a little bit more work to do. But it'll all come together and it'll be done and finished by Friday where I will be able to present this crazy little world all to you and hope that you really enjoy it and I I hope that my players really enjoy it because again I'm going to em emphasize that is the most important thing that they have a good time and that I'm able to give them a good story there's a chance that I will never DM again after this, so let's make it a good one. Right? Yeah. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe down below. If there's anything that you would like me to talk about in future Diary of a First Time DMs, leave it in the comments below. In the meantime, come and see us Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv slash boardgamehouse, where we play board games on the internet for you! Until next time, bye!